Hey, this is Tommy Gun from Cracked Rabbit Gaming, and in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a full game from scratch with Kodu Game Lab. I'm going to walk you through all the steps, and you'll be able to make a game on your own. We're going to use pages, uh, creatable objects, timers, learn how to set scores, program some AI, set the camera angle, and I'm even going to show you some shortcuts and things and some techniques that you might use in other games, even if we aren't going to use them in this one. Uh, Kodu is only $5 on the Indie Games channel on Xbox Live, and it is well worth it. So let's get started. So here we are on the Kodu Game Lab main screen. Um, for some reason, there's no new empty world button, but we're just gonna, uh, I'm just gonna show you the game we're about to make. So, let me just quickly show you. As you can see, it kinda looks like Geometry Wars. You can use the right stick to shoot, left stick to move, and enemies, of course, if we play this longer, then the enemies will come faster and faster. You can use the left trigger to use a bomb and it goes on for a minute, but I'm not gonna waste time doing that. So let's just make a new empty world. So when you start out, this is what you'll see. Absolutely a blank, uh, just a sky. So let me just go through these tools really quickly. First one we have is play. Completely ignore this button. Um, if you look in the left top left corner, you see that the back button on the Xbox controller runs the game. So we're just going to use that from now on. Just a back button to run the game, hit the back button again to go back into edit mode. Ignore this play button down here. Um, object tool. This one you're going to be using most of the time. This is for editing all your objects and programming things. All these ones are for creating land, and that's really just what you do mostly at the beginning. So let's go ahead and do that. Here's the ground brush. First we have to add some ground. This is just going to make flat ground. Um, if you hit Y, you can select a material. You have a lot of different materials to choose from. So we'll just use this. Uh, the right trigger adds some ground. And you can use the D-pad to change the size of your brush, left and right. Now let's go hit Y again, change a material, add some more. We'll hit A to paint it that color. Let's find a new material again. Sure, that one is fine. X to choose a different brush. You've got square, circle, and these ones, let's make this smaller. Um, oh, and the right and left bumpers zoom in and out. If we hit B, it'll change where our starting point is. And so this is basically just a line tool. So we'll, oops, I already messed up. Okay, right trigger to add ground. There you go. B to get back to the tool menu. And now we have a yo-yo. So if we use this, this hill up down brush or tool, you can, well, let's change. Okay, so this is a soft brush. We'll make this bigger. Um, right trigger, then make some hills. We don't have a lot of land here to work with, but that's what that does. Um, you've also got, this is kind of a random brush to make it uh, look more like natural terrain. And then you have some other stuff. Magic brush. We'll be using that later, probably. Well, you can see it's selecting just the material. It's basically like the magic wand in Photoshop, if you're familiar with that. Uh, so that makes it really easy to change the material type if you decided you didn't like what you picked. Um, let's go back to the tools and add some water. We're just going to use the right trigger to raise the water level. And it's actually adding water on this whole thing. You can't really, now you can see it. And as you can see, there are no walls here, but the water stays in there. And that actually allows you to make some glass walls type of things like this. 
which is really cool. And uh, if you play Kodu Portal that Halo X made, he uses that technique, which I never would have thought of probably if I hadn't seen him do it. Um, and that looks really cool. You can also change the type of water. If you hit Y, you can select, let's move this camera, um, select all these things. This is sort of a lava looking one. Then hit y, or hit A to change the water type. So now you have this glowing lava. Um, even though it's called water, you have all these different types. And there's a, there's a function in the program where you can set it so that it, it looks for when characters are over the water. And of course, it doesn't actually have to be water. It can be lava or whatever, but it's always just called water. So let's see. Flatten. These are all, you can figure out what, uh, what these all do. This just kind of obviously flattens everything out. Um, one tip I will say, if you want to make walls, rather than raising stuff up and then flattening it, raise up everything and then carve out the inside rather than making building the walls up build the inside down if that makes sense um rough in delete tool this does not delete land it just deletes objects and so i don't really use that very much now here are settings for the whole world we'll go into that um let's go to the top so you've got your history, glass walls that keeps enemies and anything from falling outside of the land. If you turn that off, then you can fall off the edge. But glass walls being on basically is an invisible wall. You can always hit Y to see the help for that. Camera modes, we're going to be using that later. Compass, we don't need the compass on. Resource meter, that's the thermometer. Um, so sky, we'll change this to this one just because it makes it easier to see lighting. You want to leave this stuff probably as the daytime for the most part when you're creating a level, just, I mean, at least if it's, you're going to be making it nighttime later, because it makes it a lot easier to program things when you can actually see them. Then at the very end, you can change it to, to nighttime or to very dark. Uh, we're really not going to be messing with all this stuff, but you can look through this. These scores, that just tells you uh, if you shoot an enemy, if it's on loud, it'll actually show you the score that you got. Like it'll say plus one or whatever, and then add it to the score or whatever you have it set to do. Um, if you put it on quiet, it'll just change the score, but it won't actually say the plus one from like right over the enemy. And then off, of course, you won't see the score at all. It'll just be in the background, which you can just use as a variable. So that's all that's in here. Um, so let's go back out here. There's that thermometer on the right side. It's just gray right now, though. But that just helps you know how many objects, objects you've added to the world and if you're slowing everything down by adding too much stuff. And actually, land is the thing that takes up a lot of the resources. So whenever possible, don't use a lot of land. Try to use just as much as you need. We'll actually just go start a new empty world for this game. OK, so uh, well, let's change this Oops. sky to whichever, this one. That just makes it easier to see where the top and the bottom is, since we have no land yet. OK, so we'll go to the land brush, go to a circle, make it pretty big. And that's probably not the color I want, but I can change that later. And actually, since right now, well, we are going to go ahead and use the object tool to add our character in just to start out. And that way we have a point of reference for what we're doing. So here's this cursor. We're just going to hit A to add. Now, I want the shooter to be quick. So even though I could use any of these vehicles, I'm going to go. Um, here's some other stuff, stars, coins. We're going to use this puck right here because it's really fast. The only the only bad thing about this is that it bounces off walls and it doesn't actually stop if you let go of the direction you're holding. 
but in this case that's okay we'll just do that so let's go ahead and program that right away just so we can test this out so as you can see at the top you can change the color with the d-pad left and right um, we're gonna leave it as white and we're gonna hit Y to bring up the program so here is the program the L and R bumpers change pages I'll show you what those do later so first of all we're just gonna set the controls so gamepad left stick and we want it to move and we want to move quickly three times <laughs> that just makes it even faster um, so that's all we'll do and we'll just hit B to close this and as I said before we're gonna use the back button to test this out so hit the back button again here to run the game and we're still controlling the camera with the other stick so now I can control this little puck and that does not do a whole lot so let's go back hit hit the back button again and now let's program some more stuff we're gonna say gamepad right stick and we want them to shoot and we want them to shoot these blips so let's change that and let's run the game again so now when you use the right stick now I can't change the camera because it's set since the right stick is now controlling the shooting so you'll want to change the camera before you actually run the game now he's shooting pretty slowly see now you can see the glass walls are on and that way I don't fall off so let's go back and now what we're gonna do is actually change the settings of this object so you can see the X button brings up settings so we're gonna hit X let's go all the way to the top just so you can see what we have speed um, the speed is fine for now show hit points we want that because we want to know how much health we have max hit points that's fine for right now um, all this stuff we don't really need blip damage is fine blips are the ammo that we're using right now range that's all fine okay speed there's the problem we want to make the speed much faster and also we want to be able to shoot a whole bunch of them at once missiles we're not even going to be using so we don't have to worry about this stuff all this stuff has to do with programming and uh, we'll turn glowing on a little bit and that's all we need to do for right now for this actually speaking of glowing let's do that right now we don't need a when because we just want it to do it all the time so we'll just say do and go to actions glow and then choose the color white there we go and remember what I said about changing the camera ahead of time now let's hit the select or uh, sorry back button to run it and now look at how quickly he shoots that is much better and you can see the health bar on there I can still zoom in there's this health bar okay let's jump out of that so as far as this camera angle goes we will be changing it we can actually do that right now I guess we might as well so we'll go to camera mode we don't want it to be free we want it to be a fixed position set the camera so we'll set it about here hit A and now once we start the game it should jump to right there okay there's the problem I, I chose the wrong one now it is not moving with me so let's go back into that fixed offset that's the one we want should still stay there now let's try this hit the back button to run and that's what we want okay so let's go back to edit now let's add some more ground now that we have this worked out 